Hey, what's up, guys? Mitchell Chuckles here, and today we have some gameplay for you guys on Pantheon. I go 20 and 0 in the skirmish game type. These uh, bastards end up shooting at me, so I just give them a friendly wave back. Let's just all be friends. Now, I think they were just doing it out of fun. They weren't being jerks. So I work my way around here. We end up completely uh, demolishing these guys. It was really, really bad. We're playing super, super aggressive. As you can see, I'm checking all of the corners. The first thing I do, I push super hard, and I can tell that this is a team right now that's going to be sitting back and uh, camping. Which is funny, none of them have snipers, though. So I don't know, maybe they were just practicing unleveled weapons or what. I know I'm using my red uh, hand that I'm using is actually completely unleveled as well. There is no perks on that. But the worst thing that you guys can do when you are getting pushed and where people are super aggressive like how I'm playing right now is to sit back and to wait for uh, them to push and let them make the first move. What you want to do is you want to funnel them into a choke point. Right now is a perfect example. I'm sitting in a corridor in a little choke point. What they should have done is they should have spammed their grenades into the small area to force me out of that area to either kill me or just to push me back a little bit. So, do utilize choke points. That's the best way that you can come back if you're stuck in a situation like this, is to use everything you have at your disposal. You can see we're all sticking close together. We're not so close where one grenade would kill us all, basically. There's this guy. Watch my flanks. And, uh, well, so the red, oh, the red hand, guys. This is actually a really good hand cannon. You know, I saw it. Everybody said how great this thing was. I saw it was uh, for sale this time within the House of Wolves, and I still didn't buy it. I haven't really found any legendary hand cannons that I like, other than the Devil You Know from the original Destiny. And then maybe the Fulcrum, but this gun just feels great. I love just everything about it. And uh, I don't have the Luck in the Chamber perk or Final Round set up on it. I didn't want that. I went for stability and range on this bad boy, and I picked up, uh, I think it was Zen Moments, and Small Bore, and uh, Counterbalance. So Small Bore takes away some of my stability, but doubles the range. It has slightly more range than what Thorn does, I believe, but I have like near-perfect stability because of the other two stability perks. It's absolutely crazy. I'd rather have a more consistent headshot, be able to always land my headshot for that extra damage, than two random bullets in the magazine dealing more damage. I might buy a second one and play around with the... Uh, Luck in the chamber in final round, if I can get a good stability perk, like perfect balance in the middle, that might be really nice. But I'm definitely going to be keeping this one, it's it's really good. I compared it to the Hawk Moon too, and the Hawk Moon actually does like 95 to the head and 63 to the body, or just does 86 to the head and 57 to the body. So it's relatively close, It's it does a good chunk of damage. It's really, really good. And I hate super slow rate of fire hand cannons like the Ill Will, so... I had it, and I rolled Final Round of Luck in the Chamber on it, and then I dismantled it because I hated everything about it. It's literally like the exact same thing as uh, Timmer's Lash, but Timmer's Lash has better stats, actually. That's the same rate of fire and impact, but better range. So I, uh, I use rockets, guys. I used to use heavy machine guns quite a bit. I've been using rockets a lot more because rockets are very easy kills, basically. All you have to do is see, uh, find a choke point or find a corner, and if you see them on your radar, shoot it into that choke point or corner, and there's a good possibility you'll pick up the kill. And you don't even have to see them to make that kill happen. So you can kill another person with rockets or heavy machine guns by just firing into a corner. And then you'll never have to deal with their heavy ammo if they do end up picking it up. Tie in with those goddamn shields. I hate those things. Power slide my way around town. And this guy does not want to die. There we go. Quick little golden gun action, and... Uh, Quickly switch directions and pop that guy real quick. Revive my teammate, pick up them 50 points. Everybody loves some points. Reload. So as you can see, they're just absolutely getting crushed because they're letting us do whatever the hell we want to do. And we're depriving them in every possible way. As you can see, as we worked our way around the map, we're literally constantly moving. And every time we are around the map, if we see special ammo, like this one right here, we pick it up just to deprive the enemy team. I think they end up picking it up. Or maybe we leave that one because we couldn't find them. Yeah, there we go. We know that we that's on to our back and they can't get it. So we just push, push, and push more. And like I said earlier, what you guys want to do is uh, if you're in the situation where they're in, utilize your guys' grenades and just funnel people through. 
Luckily, our teammate had his super, but as you can see, all everybody on my team threw their grenades. Only one person on their team ended up throwing grenades. So that didn't really help them out too much. They had the right idea to try and flank us. That was a good and bad decision because they split up. Had the but they just executed the flank very poorly. Otherwise, it would have been a great idea. So we end up picking that guy off. A little throwing knife action to the face. Working my way down. You know, I do a uh, respect that hunter. He did keep trying. He really did. Even though he was always put in a bad situations and get killed a lot, he did want to win and he was trying to improve. He didn't want to give up or anything like that. So I definitely, definitely salute that guy. Kudos to him. A uh, heavy ammo spawning, so I know that they are up here by this heavy ammo. So like I said, I want to deprive them. So what I want to do is I'm going to contest this heavy ammo and I will leave the other one for now. And uh, use my grenade because he had the advantage on me early. He hit the, had the first hit. Pick this bad boy up. And I don't know where the other two are at, so the first, my first thought process is the other heavy ammo is still up. So I'm going to shoot that one guy, and now I'm going to book it to this heavy ammo really quickly. And see if I can either just steal this heavy ammo or get some kills here. And sure enough, I find an unlucky titan going for it, just staring at the heavy ammo. Keep my cool and blast the golden gun. Use that rock as cover. And then pick up that heavy ammo. I don't know if my team actually got that one, but I do know that they got the top one. So I just felt like I would take that one just to deprive the enemy team. I know they had the one guy that was up top. This hunter is not getting a... Uh, I feel bad for him, that's for sure. He was put into a lot of bad situations. I should have just... I should have... Uh, I did report the guy. I gave him a good report. He was a good... Uh, very sportsman-like. So, working my way over here with my last rocket. Or two more rockets, actually. My golden gun. Oh, did they ever you know, I don't think I've ever heard Lord Shaq say that before. He's so unfortunate. He's also using an auto rifle. I think a lot of them are using auto rifles. And now I've said to use auto rifles in a couple of my past videos, and there is some good auto rifles. They just weren't using them effectively. Auto rifles do not beat uh, rocket launchers. This hunter can uh, not catch a break. Sorry, my friend. Here's his little dead Orby. Working over here. So I see special ammo there and special ammo here. But at this point, I see that they're over here and I have my super, so I don't even care about special ammo. I know that we're close to winning, so I'm just going to push, continue pushing super hard and just basically end the game as quick as possible. So as you can see, the game actually has dragged on a little bit longer than what it should have, just because they ended up hiding in the far back. And they kind of just waited for us to come to them. Had all the action took place in the middle, it might have been a quicker game, but we literally had to go hunt down and find all these guys. And if somebody has to hunt you down and find you, there's a good possibility they're just going to kill you because you're letting them play their hand and do what they want. Pop my head around, and basically, whenever you walk around a corner, you want to straight pop your head out and shoot once and just check around the corner. Or if you guys really want to, I mean, I knew we were better than these guys, so I had no problem doing that. But if the other team is better, just make sure you dance by the wall and then peek around the corner and you'll find out what's back there. Whether it's a sniper or just some enemy sitting back there with a gun lined up ready to shoot you. My team ends up finishing uh, this guy off. Then we have to go find him one more time and we can uh, end this game. Oh, I should probably go revive my teammate. Now uh, this, uh, this guy, he really wants me dead. <laughs> Sorry my friends, not today. I shall wave to you though, I respect you. Good attempt. Alright, special ammo, here we are. Well, hopefully this guy, uh, this movie, or what wow, movie, wow, video, man, I am tired. Hopefully this thing was helpful for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this as well. I know it wasn't, there wasn't very much action and it wasn't very much, uh, it wasn't a very fair game. They got dominated. But hopefully just some of the tips I gave you in regards to how to play super aggressive or if this happens to you, how to counter it was helpful. Heavy ammo's on the way and my teammate picks up this last kill with his grenades. Alright guys, so I do have my weapon set up for you guys at the very end, just a quick run through of my weapons really quick to let you know what I was using. Let's take a look at those bad boys, 5,020 to 920, oh damn. So, how is my good looking hunter. There it is, 20 and 0. Six assists, team player. Alright, so I'm using the Tomorrow's Answer. And the, uh, I'll just commentate over why you just go over the perks. Shotgun on my hand cannon. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you hit that like button, I really appreciate it. If you guys could comment and subscribe, that'd be awesome. As always guys, thanks for watching. Hope you're having an awesome day. Hope this was helpful. And until next time.